Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be tying the Jig Green Drake Nymph Emer Emerger. So it's basically going to be a Green Drake Nymph, not the dry fly or the wet fly pattern. Well, it's going to be a wet fly, but it's going to be the Green Drake Nymph. So we're going to start off with a size 12 nymph hook, one times long, two times wide. That's what I'm using, preference. But you can use whatever you want. Right here I have six aught olive thread. And you're you're gonna need like a kinda like a dark green dubbing. I only had light green and olive dubbing, so I had mixed light green and olive together. So we'll make do with what we have. So first we'll start this olive thread right behind the bead head. We'll run it up just a little tad. Run it up about right behind, or right almost pretty much to the bend. Then just bring it back, and we'll snip our tag end. All right, next we're gonna get a tail piece. So for that, I'm probably gonna use pheasant tail. Get ourselves a piece of pheasant tail here. All we need is about two or three fibers. Just grab like four or five actually. All right, right here we got some pheasant tail, and we'll tie that in place. Probably just want like a quarter to half of the hook length for the tail length. It's about all you want, and we're just gonna tie it down the length of. Oh, I just popped my thread. I'll get back to you guys right whenever I get this thread threaded. All right, I'm back. We'll just snip our tag end of pheasant tail here and start our new thread. We have it. So we'll just wrap it right over that one we went on. And we will snip both tag ends here. That is how you restart thread if you happen to have a break. So we're still going here. Going to hold the tail down just a tad bit more. I must have caught that hook point. That's why it break broke. I'll just take it slow. All right, that is our tail in place now. And now we're going to tie in wire. So for this, we're gonna be using green wire. I have here medium sized green wire. And we'll tie that in on the back side, the length of the body. Don't bring it up into that head area yet. Comment down below, guys, what kind of flies you would like me to tie on the channel. And I will get back to you and tie them up if I can. So we got this wire tied in place now along with the tail. And we'll come back down here to the tail piece. And start our dubbing here. Might need to make a little bit more. So I might have to pause, but here we have some olive dubbing and green dubbing mixed. Just put a little bit on to start with. Now this dubbing does not have to be neat whatsoever. It doesn't look half bad. This mixed dubbing. It, the green drakes, some of them are a little bit darker than others. Some of them are lighter. This kind of represents both. So there we have the dubbing pretty much in place. Now I'm going to take a couple wraps around the head to push this dubbing down a little bit. And what that's going to do is give me a little bit of room. And now we are going to tie on a little piece of flash. So but before that, we're going to wrap our wire up. So let's take our green wire here. We'll wrap one wrap forward. And just do even spacing the whole way up. You'll probably get four or five wraps before you have to tie it off here. We'll just tie it off right here. Hold it up and just cut your tag end here. Making that look nice. Now we will take some crystal flash right here. 
we can, I'm gonna actually make this a little bit smaller. Trim it down just a tad. Bear with me for a minute. All right, now we're gonna hold that in place and just tie it down. Just like that. Keep on tying it down. About the size of a head or like a size of a hackle that you would put in for a dry fly. And now we're gonna dub this up just a teeny bit more. So just take a little bit more of your dubbing. Dub it in one spot of the string. You can make it nice and thick if you want it. I make my heads a little bit thicker. So then we'll wrap that flash forward. One loose wrap, two loose wraps, and a couple tight wraps to secure it. We'll trim that flash there and continue to do a couple secure wraps. Touch it up a little bit, make sure it's looking good. Everything is looking great. This fly works really well early spring if the green drakes are hatching trout will eat these the ones that haven't hatched yet do a couple whip finishes pop your thread and snip the tag end and then add cementing which i don't do on camera so there you go everyone there's your fly thank you guys for watching comment down below what flies you would like me to tie hit that subscribe button if you like what i'm doing and i'll see you guys in the next video